Oh, I've got those horrible goosebumps going on. They're alive. Uh, they are alive. A uh, warning. 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 This video contains graphic images of deadly spiders as spiderlings. You may feel irritated and itchy during this video. If you have a fear of spiders, this video is not for you. Well, hello there. Uh, maybe you can understand what this video is by seeing what's down here. That's a red-back spider. I've had a huge infestation at my house. In the second major infestation, I found these egg sacs here. These are red-back spider egg sacs. One, two, three, and four. There is another egg sac here which I found, but I think it's a black house spider. And I think there are spiderlings in that one. But we're going to open up all these egg sacs in this video and have some fun. Before we get going, sure that's the odd bot egg sac, but these two here are a little bit different to these two here. Uh, these seem like crispy critters. They're darker. Uh, these ones seem lighter. Okay, let's do it. Just like the other spider egg, I will sterilize the area and I'm using one of mummy's best apple pie dishes because I think we'll have live spiderlings this time around. Uh, just don't come around to our place for apple pie. Because it's a surgical procedure, I will be putting on the surgeon's gloves. Oh yeah. Mmm, I love the smell of latex in the morning. And I'll be using these tools, a set of tweezers and a nice sharp scalpel. Okay, the first egg sac, it's not the redback egg sac, it's another spider. I believe it's a black house spider. It's only from the place where I found it. And I grabbed this one after getting rid of some cobwebs and I found it was caught up in the what we call a Turk's head. I don't know what you call those things that capture spider webs. That's what we call them in Australia, Turk's heads. I hope that's not <laughs> being nasty to anyone. And I don't know what's going to come out of here. I'm not seeing much at all, actually. Maybe they've already scampered away. The spiderlings have already gone. Okay, that's one down. Okay, the next one. This is a red back egg sac. I know that because I found it in a red back infested area. It's the same size as the other one that I opened up that was in the water. Uh, if you remember that video, I think a lot of people saw that one. And I think I'm a bit better at opening these this time around because I sort of know what I'm up against. Either I'm going to find spiderlings or I'm going to find eggs that haven't developed in the spiders. Or maybe there must be a bunch of hot air in here. You just don't know until you open them up. Oh my goodness. It is eggs that have not hatched. Okay, as I don't know, that's... That's almost more spooky than finding spiderlings. Okay, look how many are in there. Oh yeah, look at that. You filled your bean bag up with those, couldn't you? Those things are tiny. I was gonna say they're a little bit smaller than poppy seeds. Uh, I'm always relating things back to food to give you a size. Now one thing I don't know is I don't know how long it takes these eggs to develop in the spiderlings. Uh, maybe some of my audience will know, I'm hoping they will. Let me just clear these to the side and get into the next one. Noticing how gentle I am. Okay, this next one is darker. Uh, it is slightly smaller. I don't know whether this one has opened up before. I noticed there were ants and things around this. Uh, it was in the same area as that other one we just opened. The only way to find out what's inside here is to basically cut it open and see what comes out. I don't know how these guys operate. I don't know what's going to come out of here, dead or alive. Whatever's in... Oh, dear, oh, dear. It, um... Oh, I've got those horrible goosebumps going on. Uh, that there are uh, red back spiderlings, uh, lots of them. Uh, you're not coming to my place for apple pie, are you? I'll come in and uh, carefully give birth to these guys. It's like cesarean section, isn't it? Uh, that means it's a bit like you need a knife to give birth. Maybe a bit hard to explain on YouTube. Uh, maybe just go and Google it, hey? Um... Oh man, there are so many in here. It is such a freak show. It's the first egg sac I've opened where I've had uh, basically live spiderlings. All redbacks in here. I don't know whether they're male or female. I don't know when they develop their sex. Uh, like, I really do hope the audience uh, can, can work this one out for me. Or there's some entomologists, people who are spider experts or whatever, can come along and explain to me how these guys operate. And once again, the egg sac is actually amazingly tough. Although it is nice and soft for the spiderlings, hey? They get born into a beautiful, soft world. And then they've got to go and dominate the rest of the planet. I don't know how far off these guys were from hatching. Like, I don't understand those time frames at all. 
These look fairly well developed. Glad I got this before they hatched because it would have just caused more chaos in the garden. Poor things are probably looking for mum thinking, what's going on here? There's some big ugly dude of a camera looking at us. Well, I'll carefully push these guys aside. Tonight's apple pie is going to be very special and we'll do another one. I've got these terrible itchies going on all over my legs now. I don't know why. Uh, this egg here is similar to the first red back one, which was the second one I opened in this video, if that makes any sense. And it may be just baubles or maybe spiderlings. You don't know till you open them up, hey? Eh? It's like a the surprise eggs like you've never seen on YouTube. Beat this, all you surprise egg fanboys. Spammers, you can't do ones like mine. Yeah, it looks like we've got more baubles there. Caviar, eh? <laughs> it's another bit of food I'm thinking of. Why do I think of food when I look at this? Mmm, got you thinking, doesn't it? What they look like is little, little tiny pearls. They're the sort of pearl color. They're actually quite beautiful to look at. I've got to put some sort of romance into this because I'm basically killing hundreds and hundreds of spiders here. Uh, each egg sac, they say, uh, has about 250 on average red back spiders. And the egg sac, the way it's made, is actually quite incredible. But hey, spiders are incredible. Let's move on to the last one. Yay! Being very careful cleaning up. This is the last egg to open. And one of the really sad aspects to this is the mother spider that laid those eggs is actually in the tank there, up the back. She's thinking, oh, my babies! My babies! Now, before I scalpel this one, uh, we'll just show you something which is a little bit curious. The spiderlings from that one, which had the live ones, haven't ventured far from the egg sac, so they feel this is a comfort zone for them. They probably never expected to meet Mr. Scalpel. And then there was one, uh, there was a spiderling crawling on this one, that's from the other egg sac. This is the last one. I dare say this has got live spiderlings. It's darker in colour, it's a bit shriveled up, it's funny, I really thought these ones would have nothing in them, how wrong was I, hey? But then again, you don't know till you open it up. The spiderlings going up my tweezers, they probably want to go up and bite me. You don't know what is going to come out, mind you, I think it's going to be something horrific out of here. I wonder if they're a little bit more developed, these ones. They look, a, they certainly look more sprightly, don't they? Oh, it gives you these goosebumps, I've just got yeah, goosebumps going up my arms. Man, these guys are more lively. These guys are looking for war. These guys are the zombie and they're crawling up the tweezers and all. <laughs> I'm just going to want to get out of here. Don't worry, the apple pie is going to be great tonight. Whoa, and there's one on my glove. They were a lot more energetic. I think they were more developed by the way they're moving around. Oh, I don't like it. They're climbing the tweezers there. They're climbing up the scalpels. Blech. Look at that. It's doing a runner across the table. Yeah. They were really ready to go. That is really, really scary. This is very, very freakish. It's only about a minute after opening it up. Uh, they have crawled up the tweezers there. They have set up an escape line here with a web. Look at them go. <sighs> These things are incredible. I, I can't believe how fast they're getting out of here. There's one down on the table there. It just shows you how fast they can get around. I mean, these guys must have been so close to hatching. It's not funny. I'm also noticing some look a little bit different to others. I wonder if that's a female. Notice how she's got a, a much bigger and bulbous back on her back, if that makes any sense. I, she's so small I can't go any, any closer. Mm. Even at that very young age, that spidling has some serious attitude. And I've got something that can adjust that. There, sorted. And those guys there are just so organized and communicating and going down the line. In fact, some are going back up. They're probably sending messages. Let's get out of here. We've got an escape plan. There's another escapee up the back. Sorted. I keep getting these itchy feelings on my legs. Oh, I can't stand this. Very vibrant spiders. If The more you look here, the more you see. Everything I touch here is going to be pack loaded with these guys. Uh, that was very close to opening, I dare say, because they seem to be very mature. They are escaping all over the bench here everywhere. The more I look here, the more I see. I'm only going to cause a spider infestation in my own garage here if I'm not careful. So I better deal with this right now. You know, I was going to have the idea of adding some of these guys into my spider tank at the back there. But I think these guys are just too scary. Um, there's just too many of them. And there's really no predators in there. I just have a major nightmare. I have got some metho here. And see that one escaping now? I'm just going to put some metho down to slow them up. But I know metho doesn't kill these guys. another one there. Oh, I cannot believe this. But then again, I suppose if you open up a spider egg, well, what do you expect? And hopefully that's going to quell some of their movements. 
I'm going to spray my legs too. I am just feeling itchy all over. Horrible feeling. Oh, even sanitized Mr. Hammer. And look down there amongst the tools, they're all coming back to life. Someone said to me, oh, Metho kills these spiders. Nah, it does zero to them. Yeah, well, Metho spirits has basically all evaporated away. And now, as I look down here, the more I look, the more I see moving. Look at that. Formulating a escape plan. These guys are smarter than you think. I know you can ask, what did you do with all those spiderlings after the video? You want to see? They can survive methylated spirits, but they can't survive this. Problem solved. Well, after that lick of flame, I can't see anything that's alive down there. Can you? Hey guys, how was dinner? Yeah, it was good. Would you like something very special for dessert? Yes! I've got something really special here for you. What is it? Oh, well, you might get a bit of a surprise. We haven't had this for some time. Oh, yeah. Apple pie. Come and get it. Woo, 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 woo. Look at that. So, um, what's with this whole spider apple pie? Haven't you tried apple pie with spider before? No. It is the latest and greatest thing. I can assure you that is the best apple pie on the planet. I bet you you can't wait to have some. Mm.